Hey everybody, this is Jason Akers again with Green Acres Pest Control. And I have news. I'm going to be running a live stream. It's going to be a fundraising opportunity to help everyone who's social distancing. Uh, I'm not going to say a lot of videos don't get circulated around YouTube because if you say this or you say that, YouTube doesn't want people to see your video. Uh, but I'm going to do a, a live stream video either tonight, if you're seeing this video right now, either tonight or tomorrow, uh, pretty soon, I'm gonna try to live stream as often as I can. Because uh, for every live stream I do, I'm gonna offer a link to a t-shirt. And the way that this video is cut up, I might even have a picture of the t-shirt, you know, over here, over here, or whatever, just so you can see uh, what we're gonna do. But it's a t-shirt that my wife and I have designed to try to raise, raise awareness about the people who are in more trouble than the what they've deemed as essential um, worldwide. So let me tell you about my life. I was really low down. Uh, I got hurt pretty bad by the 2008 uh, market crash. Um, my wife too, now she, we were both married to other people we had, um, we were go both going through pretty messy divorces, and we have been friends. I've known my wife since I was 12 years old, uh, 11, 12 years old, and uh, so basically my whole life I've known my wife. I'm 38 now, and we're best friends. We've been best friends forever, and so she, we contacted one another, and we're talking to one another after we had gotten divorced, and you know, there was a really rough time. Uh, when we first got married, uh, my wife actually she was on uh, she was living in Section Eight housing. We were going through uh, using food stamps. Um, in fact, the first month we were together before we were married, um, I made eighty seven dollars. That's a big deal. That's you know that's nothing um, in today's world. Eighty seven dollars is really very very little. Um, it's like a quarter to a gumball machine. Uh, you really can't buy much with eighty seven dollars. Um, we were on food stamps. We were on assisted living. Um, when I went to move in with my wife, uh, they wouldn't allow me to live there because I had had a foreclosure. I actually had to foreclose on my house because I was underwater in a mortgage. A lot of people were. And so I lost my home. And we had two options. We could either uh, move in with her parents or uh, we took the other option which my father is a landlord. He's got several properties and he had some that were not rented. And so he offered us a place to live. So we lived rent free. Uh, so basically we had assisted living in rent. <laughs> I didn't have to pay any rent. And we were still on food stamps, government food stamps. And so uh, my wife even was on WIC when uh, she was pregnant with my daughter and everything. And after she had the baby, you get WIC for so many months after the baby is uh, you know, alive. To, to help feed the baby, I think up until what two years old, uh, she's five. she's standing right here with me, it's and five, so I think, but we ended up going off earlier. Yeah. So what happened was I wasn't making very much money. I was I was working with my dad, and my mother passed away. Uh, I kept being promised uh, that I would inherit the company, and that because I'm I, for those who watch my channel regularly know that I'm a second generation pest control technician. So I've been doing this since I was six years old. I've grown up in the profession. I didn't go to college because I was promised that I would inherit this business and all these things were happening to me. Now, I haven't really talked about this a whole lot or told anybody about these things about me because it's really kind of personal and I really don't share these things very often, but it was, uh, this is something that happened to me. And so I was, I was very low down. I, um, we were living, so when, when I would get my income tax return from the government, um, it was basically all the taxes I paid. I always got everything back. And it was about nine to ten thousand dollars. It wasn't no, a lot. It was not nine to ten thousand dollars. Well, whatever. Eight three to nine. Three or four thousand dollars. Three or four thousand. Well, okay. So my wife's saying three or four thousand dollars is all we got back. So she knows better than me because she's the accountant. This is why I don't take care of the bills. But anyway, um, so about four thousand dollars. Let's go on the upscale. And we had to make this last all year until usually summer. When I would start making decent income because the sales would start coming in and I'd make more money because pest control is a seasonal type job. And so 
it was really difficult for us. And we were using our money for uh, like, so, so I'm a Discover card member and I get cash back. So my cash back rewards were, um, we would get like little gift cards. So for those of you who use Discover card, for $20, you can get a $25 gift card to Old Navy. I could not afford to go to Goodwill. I couldn't buy used clothes. I had to go to resort to free clothes, basically, because, I mean, it was money we were spending on our bills with Discover. We would turn around and use that to buy things for, you know, what we had to have. So, enough about expenses. When we went to stay at a hotel a little while back because we do long distance bed bug services all across Virginia. And I offer a lot of low income housing. I try to help people with low income housing. Um, I try to make it more affordable, pest control more affordable for everyone, even people who really probably can't afford pest control. Um, and so we were in Northern Virginia and which is about one way, about three hours, give or take traffic, maybe three and a half hours, one way direction. So we stayed at a hotel overnight. And a lot of times we take, the two of us, my wife and I, will both travel because I have bad sciatic nerve. And so she'll drive for me um, a lot when we have to do these long distance trips. So we were leaving our hotel room after doing the job for the day. And my wife t tips the maid. So when this, I, I recommend everyone do this. If you stay at a hotel, someone cleans your toilet, someone cleans your seat, someone cleans my toilet. They deserve a tip, trust me. But anyway, the maid was there. And so my wife tipped her because we always try to tip our maid service. She cried. She said, I don't know where, how I'm going to feed my children. I didn't know when I woke up this morning if I was even going to be able to feed my family this week at all. And the fact that she's been cut back because the, the help has been cut. So what they had, they had these little cards on the table when we went in to get our room and it said you'll only receive maid service once a week we've cut our maid service down to help keep contact because i can't say this thing that's going around because youtube hates you for that but they said because of what's been going around we've cut our maid services down from once a day to once every five days now i don't know about you but having your income cut that much is a big deal to a lot of people and so now that I've rambled on and on and on, I want to explain what the actual fundraiser is for. Now, we've chosen the Catholic, Catholic, Charities, USA. Catholic Charities USA. Sorry, she's here to keep me straight because I'll ramble and she'll go like this or like this and like to try to get me to stop rambling. If anyone's watched my videos, you know I talk a lot. Uh, so, Catholic Charities, and I'm not Catholic, but they do a lot of good, a lot of really good things for a lot of people and worldwide, all over the world. Because I know a lot of people have been doing fundraisers for like Feed America and different places like that, which that's all fine and good. But I, YouTube is a worldwide organization. If you are watching this from England, you're not in America. If you're watching this from Australia, you're not in America. If you're watching this from the Philippines, you're not in America. Catholic Ministries feeds worldwide, and they help people with clothing, they help people with housing, they help people with oil bills, like fuel for their homes, and to keep warm during the winter. Of course, we're coming out of winter time, but some people down in the Southern Hemisphere are just going into winter time. So this is a way to try to help everybody. The t-shirts that I'm going to be showing you are actually, they are 100% of the profit goes to them. The money never goes into my hands, never enters my hands ever. I'm using um, custom ink, ink, custom ink, yep. I wanted to use Teespring, but Teespring wasn't available because they've had a lot of problems with supply. But I'm using custom ink. And so they, you, you go and you order the t-shirt and the t-shirt's mailed to you. So it's, it's really pretty a neat, it's a pretty neat thing. And I'm hoping to really, like I said, help a lot of people. Um, I think we really have to work together. All of us have to work together. All of us who can afford uh, to help one another should help one another. And because that's how, that's how everything good 
comes about. You know, we all help one another and help. And for those of you wondering, I'm small business. This has hit my business in a big way. If you want to support me and help put, you know, food on my table, um, I have an affiliate link below to Amazon. All right, if you buy things on Amazon, if you've got an Amazon Prime membership or if you buy things on Amazon, click that link, bookmark that link. Go to that link when you go buy things on Amazon and I do get a cut. Even if you don't buy anything from me on my store or anything like that, it does help support my business. And so if you want to support local businesses, I'm a local business, support me. <laughs> and uh, it does help put food on my table because that's how I put food on my table is through my business. Uh, also, you know, all of my monetized videos and everything. If you're watching this video, share it around. I'm hoping the video will get shared anyway because this is a big thing. It's, this is the only time I've ever actually run a charity live stream event. I'm going to stream for as long as I can handle it. Uh, my kids might be in the videos. My wife might come into the video. But it's life how it is in the Acres house. I'm going to be here to answer your questions. If there's any questions that you have at all, feel free. If you have a question about bed bugs, if you have a question about cockroaches, if you have a question about ants, ants are coming out now, bees, wasps, hornets, spiders, anything. Mice, rats, uh, what I ate for supper, whatever. If you have a question, don't be afraid to answer it. I'm an open book for anyone who knows me. I talk too much about everything Loose lips sink ships. I've sunk a navy. That's the way it is. So, come on. Take time out of your day to visit me. Talk to me. Even if you don't buy a shirt, I want you to at least come in and ask questions. Any question you ask will help others. Uh, my, if anyone knows me much, knows my YouTube channel is built around helping people who can't afford pest control, and hopefully they can afford it or at least be able to do it right. So, if I'm done, am I done? I'm done. I'll see you later, and hopefully you can make the live stream, and I look forward to talking and conversing with every one of you. So, have a great day. Thanks.